Hi guys, um, what I'd like to show you in this video is this. So this is uh, something that my friends from IC Station sent me. It's um, a, a power module, a step down power module. So you give it uh, power anywhere from say 17, 15, 17 volts to 48 volts and it will give you back 5 and 12 volt regulated output through these pins here. So I was wondering, what can I do with a power module like this? Hmm, well, I thought, I looked in my, um, one of my old boxes and I found a real old laptop power supply and that gives me a 19 volt output at three and a half um, milliamps, almost three and a half milliamps. So I thought, hey, I can use this old power supply to power up this um, 12 volt LED strip. So I'll hook it into my Arduino and via a TIP122 uh, transistor, I can power the LED strip. And right now it's just uh, randomly um, blinking on and off. So, um, well, you can obviously see that the Arduino Uno has got its own USB power supply, but what I want to do later is to hook it into my own custom bare bones Arduino and then hook that into the 5 volt output of the power module. So let's uh, let's do that now. So first I want to program the chip on my custom Arduino. So I'm going to power off everything. Um, take a bit of power. Right. Wait for it to discharge. Actually, I've just disconnected completely. There we go. And I'm going to remove the chip from my custom PCB. That's the easiest way to do it since I don't have the serial uh, USB to serial um, breakout handy. I can do that. I'll plug this back in to the Arduino Uno. Alright, plug the Uno into my computer and I found this sketch uh, on the internet. Um, there's a location and um, it just uses the, uh, the random uh, function to generate uh, a number between 50 and 500 for the time that the LEDs are going to stay on and the number that the LEDs are going to stay off and then it just turns them on and off on pin 13. Very simple. So upload. Done. All right, switch the chips back to my custom PCB. So I get the orientation right. So pin number one is on that side. Okay, and um, replace the original AppMega on the Uno so I don't end up losing it. Alright, so we are done with this. Next, um, I'm going to plug in the Arduino on the power board. So I've got the black is ground, All right? So we're gonna go in like this. Right, and then from the IC station power module, put five volts here and ground here. Then for the Darlington, the tip one. The wide cable uh, is going to from the base is going to go to the uh, number 13 pin. Which, looking at the schematics, so uh, pin 13 on the Arduino is uh, number pin 19 on the At Mega. So this is going to go to. 19, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
from right here. Double check, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right. And I also need to connect the ground so that um, the ground for the access station power module and the Arduino are the same. So that is in pin uh, 22. I'll put it in pin 8 on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, let me put power back uh, to my power supply to power the power module and then the Arduino should uh, come back to life and light up randomly the LED strip. So let's see if this works. Ah, so it seems like uh, I figured it out what the problem was. Um, I think when I connected my custom Arduino board into these two um, columns, uh, plus and minus, uh, minus uh, columns, uh, I caused a short and that caused the 5 volt part of the power module to also short out so that I couldn't provide any, any more power to my Arduino. So I removed power for a few minutes, uh, let it cool down and it came back to life and it all works uh, nice. So instead of using the, these two columns, um, um, I'm going to use this part of my breadboard to connect the custom PCB. Just checking the polarity, make sure I'm going to do the same mistake again. So I'll plug that in. There you go. Chip already programmed, it's just sending, um, turns on and off the uh, LEDs uh, at random amounts of milliseconds. And um, that's pretty nicely done. I think this power module just makes uh, the design of um, dual voltage systems, so 5 volt and 12 volt. It's pretty easy and it allows you to reuse these old power supplies. There you go. Nice one.